Today's video is called Do's and Don'ts for our flea market. Today I have seven tips for you, things to do and things to not do when you're going to set up to sell at a flea market. So this is one of the ways that I make money as a stay-at-home mom. So this is my series, How to Make Money as a Stay-at-Home Mom. And once a month, I like to go to a flea market, pay for a space, and then bring some of the things that I sell on eBay, some inventory, um, and I'll put them at the flea market to see if I can sell them on that day. So we just started doing this this summer, so I just wanted to share a couple of things that we did that was great and a couple of things that we did that was not so good so that you guys can go to your flea market ready to make money. So let's get right into the video and don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell notification if you like content just like this. So number one is get there early. So we get there at 4 a.m. because the flea market opens at 5. So we get there an hour early, it's dark outside, all the other people in the flea market are setting up their tables in the dark and we bring flashlights. Don't get there at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. and expect to sell anything because the people that buy from flea markets are early risers, they want deals, they want unique stuff and they want to get there first. So if you're there first setting up, then they'll come as soon as the sun comes up and start buying your stuff. Number two, bring a flashlight. Bring a flashlight to set up. We used to use our car headlights, but you can't always park your car pointing towards your tables and your merchandise because your car goes behind you at some of the, some of the flea markets. So you'll parallel park your car behind you in that same space and then take everything out of your car and set up. So like I said, it's dark, it's 4 a.m. So bring flashlights so you can set up everything, your poster boards, set up all the your merchandise on the correct tables and things like that. Tip number three, bring $100 at least in ones. So I have a fanny pack and I bring $100 in ones to start out with because everybody wants to come to the flea market for some reason and bring $20 bills. I hate that, but I still wanna make money, so I wanna have change for them. So I would start out with $100 in ones, so by the middle of the day, you still have ones, or you still have change, to give your customers when they need to, when they pay for something and they need change back. So that is tip number three. Tip number four was put the cash on you. Don't have it in your pocket where it falls out every time you make change and don't have it like in your car or envelope that you can set down. Always have it on you and I suggest having a fanny pack instead of one of those crossbody bags because the crossbody bag you can flip it behind you and somebody could get into it or knock it off or something like that. It could just be open and you don't notice it because it's on the side or in the back. I would do a fanny pack right in the front. Somebody buys something, give them the change, zip it up, you're good to go and they can go wherever you go number tip number five tip number five is really specific to where you are like where your flea market is but i have tip number five as have a variety of items to sell don't just sell one thing because the people who don't want that one thing are not even going to stop by they're just going to walk keep walking but if you look like from far away, you have a variety of different items, then a lot of different people are going to stop by your store. So for example, I had one lady who was next to me um, in the spot next to me and she was only selling purses. Well, the people who wanted purses, they came and stopped by, but nobody else. So she really wasn't getting a lot of traffic. When people come to a flea market, sometimes they have no idea what they want to buy. They just want a deal. So they want to kind of look through your store. But if your store has one thing, they can just look through it while walking by. So I have a bunch of variety of things. Toys, games, purses, um, women's clothes, kids clothes, kids shoes, women's shoes, men's shoes. Just a variety of different stuff so that they can come and look through each of my tables and then if they don't want anything, they don't want anything. But at least they stopped by and said, well, I don't know exactly what's over here, so I'll come and check it out. We're selling a lot of toys and baby clothes. 
and half. Person. Tip number six, and this one is really important. I see a lot of people that sell at flea markets make this mistake. Tip number six is bring tables. Don't have your stuff on a tarp on the floor. It gets dusty because people are walking by it. It's on the floor, so it's harder for them to look at it and check it out. I would say put it on a table so it's at their arm's length. They can pick it up, look at it, you know, buy it, put it back down, look at more stuff. If they have to bend all the way down and it's getting dusty and all this with foot traffic, then most likely they're just going to kind of look and be like, oh, okay, that's down there on the floor. It looks kind of, you know, I don't know. And they'll keep on going to somebody with tables. Definitely, definitely get tables and put your stuff on a table. Now, if it's huge and it can't go on a table, yes, put it on the floor. But if it's little stuff like shoes, games, toys, necklaces, rings, any type of jewelry, all that stuff should be on a table. Um, and the last tip, tip number seven. So this is the last tip, tip number seven is do bring a tent. Don't think you're gonna sit out there in the heat and bake in the sun for four or five hours or however long you're at your flea market. Always get a tent, even if it's in the springtime or even if it's in the fall, it could, it could rain or just whatever. We got, me and my husband, we got a tent from Walmart. I think it was like $45. It was a nine by nine, I'm not sure, but I'll post it um, which one that we got. But the first time we didn't get a tent, we just kind of parked our car a weird way and just kind of sat in the car with the trunk open. We have an SUV. But that was, we were out there in the sun, it was hot. So the next time we did a flea market, we got a tent and we can put the tables around the tent and then sit in the middle of the tables with a couple of lawn chairs. And then when customers come up, we kind of talk to them, engage them, but we're still in under the comfortable tent while everybody else is walking around in the sun. So definitely invest 40 or $30 or whatever in a tent so that you guys will be comfortable at your flea market and you're not trying to get out of there, pack up and get out of there because you're sitting in the sun all day. So those seven tips do's and don'ts were the things that I would definitely take with me when you do your first flea market or yard sale or whatever because those are the tips that we've learned from this summer. Yeah. Ooh. That ain't good. That was my seven tips for do's and don'ts at a flea market and I hope this information was helpful to you guys. If you like content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you get notified the next time we upload a video. We upload videos on Wednesdays and Fridays twice a week. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to click the heart. Ugh, don't. That's not it. So those are my... <laughs> take two. Don't forget to click the like button. <laughs>